everybody. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I will be here um, occasionally to do little tips and tricks about watercolor and aqueous acrylics, tell little stories, and just have a good time together. So today I'm going to start out with a story about John Singer Sargent that maybe you all don't know about. Um, I did not know this story. So it turns out that uh, he was an American immigrant, a uh, very famous painter, beautiful portraits. Uh, he did this one painting called Madam X. And when he first went to exhibit it, he was hoping this would like make his career and start him his reputation in the art world. Instead, when it was shown, um, it was basically criticized and mocked and he was became kind of infamous because of this painting. So um, after it was uh, exhibited at the salon, um, things didn't go very well for him. The reputation he was hoping to build actually became very um, negative in the art world, not what he was hoping for. So uh, the reason why is because uh, they deemed the portrait indecent because um, in the original um, in the original, original pa painting, the, the right strap of her dress was pulled off her shoulder, exposing what they thought back then was too much skin. So um, anyway, he, he stood by, the painting was good, he wasn't gonna change it, but then the model's family became very embarrassed and disgraced by all the um, stuff going on, the critics and, and, and everything. So um, the model's family begged him and begged him to please don't take, take it down, don't exhibit this painting. So to quell the fears of the family and to try to regain some uh, reputation with the critics, he then repainted the portrait with the strap back on the shoulder, or he just repainted the strap. I don't think he redid the whole portrait, but he basically, you know, this is what you can do with oils. He took, put the strap back on her shoulder and that is the portrait that we see today. So that is a little unknown tale possibly about John Singer Sargent. We're gonna talk about atomizing. And this is a portrait that I'm working on right now. Or not a portrait, excuse me. I got John Singer Sargent on my mind. Um, this is a um, atomized painting that I'm doing right now. It's like a beach scene. And you can see, um, I'd like to show what this looks like. Because unless you see this in person, like I could take a photograph of it and you wouldn't really see all these little dot details because this is a full sheet. But if you look up close, you can see this is what an atomizer does. Okay, is it blows all these tiny tiny little dots and you can create different colors by mixing the dots um, like different colors and just putting one over another like up here in the water I did like a cobalt up here and then it went down into a turquoise down here at the at the bottom so you can do that and change things up that way okay and same down here I did my rose and then I also um, did my Antwerp blue. Drop something. Okay. Did my Antwerp blue to give this purple appearance. Okay. Now here's what a mouth atomizer looks like. And this is one of my best tips um, when I'm teaching. I use this in all kinds of paintings, not just atomized paintings. But I use it if I wanted to push an area back and I don't want to go back in there with my brush and disturb pigment. So anyway, this is what it looks like when you get it, except yours will be clean. It won't have paint all over it like mine and you need to open it all the way until it stops. So make, a lot of people, they just open a part partial way or they don't do all the way till it clicks and you're not gonna blow paint that way. So make sure it's open all the way. Here's the next best tip. This, when you first get it, this thin um, tube, the one that goes down into your paint, it actually will move up and down within this cuff. There's a cuff here at the end of the, um, at the end of the hinge and it will move up and down in there um, make sure that uh, the top of the small tube falls directly into the middle of the circle so in other words th this top of this tube if you look at it as a straight line should intersect across the the middle of the large tube okay so it should be right in the middle if it's too low or too high Again, you're not going to be able to blow paint very effectively. So that is my tip on atomizing. And here is another quick one um, to keep. I've had this atomizer for years and years, and some people go through them like socks because they don't clean them properly or whatever. And I got sick of constantly blowing water through this thing to clean it. So I just got some wire at Lowe's and wrapped it with a little 
leather strap just to make it comfortable to put in and take out. And just make sure you put it into the small tube um, when you're done painting for the day. And that'll keep that open and cleaned out. So there is my tip on the atomizer. And I hope you all have a great day. Please subscribe um, to my channel. Um, there's a button below. And I would really appreciate it if you subscribe because then you'll know whenever I put out a new video. So thanks and have a great day and I'll see y'all again real soon.